Color Killer is back with another video, and today I'm going to be watercoloring a couple of tomatoes, and I'm going to show you how to do one of my signature paints that I love to do. Okay, so first what you want to do is you're going to do like a little leaf shape here, and I'm going to make two more. Now the key to doing when you're doing braids is you want to make sure you do them halfway. So if you're drawing lines like this, you want to make sure they're halfway. But another thing too is you don't want to go completely this way. You want to make sure you extend this little line over into the second one and you just keep repeating this pattern until done. Once you're done, you can um, draw like a little like rectangle-ish looking box and then you can draw like a little curl at the end like this okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a couple of tomatoes and I'm going to show you how to do it it's very simple so what you do is you draw a circle and you just like make like these little like so you're going to make like a star but it's more like an abstract star Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty little pin here and I'm going to trace this and erase the, and erase the excess pencil once I'm done. Oop, do a little pin test here. It looks like it doesn't want to work. Oh, and if your pen looks like it's not working, make sure you go back and do little um, pin swatches like so. Alright, now that that's done, we can just take our eraser and erase the excess pencil. And it's okay if the pen smears, because we're going to go over this in watercolor. In just a couple of minutes. Yeah, like I said earlier, if it smears like this, don't worry about smearing, because I'm going to go back and do this in watercolor. And if you've missed a couple of spots, just go back in with your pen and do just trace back over it okay so now i'm going to show you how i watercolor so for the tomato i'm going to use this color right here if you can see it it's like a light green type like color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this little paintbrush my trusty little paintbrush here and i'm just going to wet this with water kind of spritzed a little bit so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna fill the inside of your little star and you may want to go back in with the second coat so I'm just gonna go back in do the same process now that that's done now that that's done I'm gonna wait for the dry and then once this is dry I'm gonna take this darkish green color and I'm gonna color it in with using water Okay, so now what I'm going to do for the tomato color, you want to um, take this color right here. It's by Master's Touch. Fine Art Studio is called Brilliant Red, also known as PW230. So I've already got it in my little palette here. If you can adjust your camera over to the palette here. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Brilliant Red color and I'm just going to color in the tomato like so. Oh, um, a tip about brushes that I found out is with brushes, um, it's actually really easy, actually easy. So with brushes, what I found out is you have to, um, know which type of style of brushes works for you and what works in your painting. So depend, like for this, I would use this one. Now, like for bigger spaces, depend, it depends on how, like how big it is. But um, depending on like how big of a drawing you have, 
if you want to cover like thick like nice big areas I would suggest using this paintbrush um now where I got these paintbrushes from is I got a kit from Hobby Lobby it's a 70 piece kit and it came along with um watercolors like bright red and flesh tint I use flesh tint for my watercolors for my watercolor skin tones I also like to use Ripsahina which is in this little palette right here and I just dilute it with water okay now that our tomato a star thing is done I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna dilute paint dilute this using water I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna paint that one more time and you only want to use one coat oh and if you find that your paint is um not really showing too well what you do is you take your little tube of paint such like this you squeeze it in and you take some of your water and what I've done is I've just diluted my paint so what I do is I like to stir my paint in and I just take the excess paint off and once I've done if I need more paint then you just go in and use that little excess paint and you just paint it back in to make it look extra live looking okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna paint my braid so i'm gonna paint it the same color and what i've decided i'm gonna do is i'm gonna like take a little twist on it and i'm just gonna add some ripe zucchini color which is this color right here inside my palette it's a very beautiful color um i really love this color when i'm using skin tones not just flesh tint I try to go outside the box so what inspired me to do watercolor painting is um I was getting bored of like the same type of art so one day I was like I want to try water so I told my mom I said I want to try watercolor paint so I just happened to find this set and it was um about uh, 45 or 70 percent off and um, it was really cheap in the end. The coupon 40% 40 40 off. Um, thanks, Mom. Um, it was 40% off, and it was a really good deal. And I'm loving how this is turning out. And um, I will also be having a Q&A in my next video. So I'm just gonna like wipe this off. Okay. So now. Um, Mom, do you have any words to say about my watercolor painting skills? You have come a long way in a short period of time. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, you just heard it from my mom. She says I'm getting really good, and she loves it. Okay, so here's my background to my story. Um, I actually started a year ago in art. I really love art. This year, I'm going to ninth grade. I'm so excited. Uh, guys, please wish me luck because I really want to take art and drama in high school because like throughout middle school I was actually self-taught and a really, just so you know, a really good, helpful art. Um, look, okay, so if you're into art, here's what I recommend. I recommend using YouTube. I recommend using YouTube for all art purposes. Um, I mean, it's the thing that helped me out. So first I started off with anime and then I just started getting into realistic stuff and now I'm doing watercolor painting. And now I'm getting, now I'm starting to draw whatever I want. Um, as you can, as you've seen earlier in my diary sketch tour, which is, um, very good. I love this a lot. So, now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Ripsiana color, and I'm just going to mix it in with the, uh, with the red. And it ends up turning out very good. And here it is, the finished look. Oh, and one more thing too. Here is my very beautiful tree painting. I used purple, pink, blue. I actually used this watercolor blue first. And I used my light green, my dark green for the tree. The the ripe the ripe color for the um the bark. And I used the little yellow orchid and some 
reddish orange some red and some orange for the apples and oranges um i really hope you have enjoyed my new video and please do not forget to comment and like this video and also do not forget to subscribe thanks so much and oh this little thing in the background is my little blending palette i don't use this as much because i've customized it into like a sunset thing and this is where i keep all my little paints that you can see here i also customize it customize it customized it okay so this is my tree painting kind of fall over but um i keep my little paints and stuff in here and to the side okay thank you so much for watching bye